Hey there everyone, Laser Dave here again from Trotec Laser. I have another laser hack to show you. This laser hack will walk through the best method to get the highest possible contrast when laser processing bricks. Let's take a look. Laser processing bricks can be a very profitable laser application and are traditionally used for project fundraising. Clay-based bricks work best with the laser. Typically used for decoration or edging, they are very smooth versus the rough building or structural style bricks. Smooth-faced, darker-colored, clay-based bricks can be purchased at most home improvement stores. For bricks made specifically for laser marking and produce the best contrast with the laser system, you can scan this QR code or go to lasersketch.com to order. When the correct style of brick is laser marked, the CO2 laser heats the clay in the brick, turning it into a black glass, producing a stunning dark mark. There are a few ways to laser process brick. The first method is just a traditional laser engraving, as shown in this example. Taking the Trotec logo and engraving it with very high laser power and low speeds. The issue is that this method will not produce that black glass looking contrast that is typically desired. The laser hack to produce more heat is to vector the image versus engraving it. To do this in Corel Draw, convert any vector graphic to an outline, remove the fill color, then select the drop down menu Effects, and then select Contour. The contour adjustment will then show up on the right side of the page. First select to center, then depending on the lens in the laser, adjust the line's offset. With a 2.0 inch lens, use an offset of 0.008 inches, or use this chart for different lenses. Then with the red color selected, apply the contour. This will effectively contour fill the graphic with vector lines to the center of the graphic. Once complete, send this new file to the laser. Run the laser system at full laser power at very low speeds with an offset of 0.1 or 2.5 millimeters. The offset takes the laser out of focus, making the laser beam about twice the diameter of a focused beam to provide an overlap and give the graphic that filled look. The vector process will produce the heat needed in order to melt the clay into black glass, producing a much darker laser mark into the brick. Using this same method, multiple passes can be run to achieve an even darker look. Once finished, use caution when removing as the brick may be very hot coming out of the laser. Then rinse with water to remove any excess residue formed from the laser process. Here is the example of each of the processes side by side. The blank brick next to the engraved brick, next to the laser hack vector mark brick, and then lastly the vector mark with two laser passes, producing the darkest black mark onto the brick. When laser processing bricks, the higher the laser wattage used, the better the productivity will be, but this process will work with any laser wattage with more time. I also highly recommend using the Air Assist accessory to protect the laser lens from the heat of this process. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments section below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to be notified for future laser hacks. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.